Giles is the picture of the perfect husband on Saturday oh. night. You strangled him on your behalf. Well, that's a problem. Well, she could be like that all the time. Oh, yeah, so charming. The butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. He even managed to stay fairly sober. Yeah, that was all to impress Vincent Kramer. Oh, he did a pretty good job. Uh, he was pleased with himself. I, I don't get you. Why do you stay with him? You're the only one that knows what he's really like. You saw he looks perfectly normal to the outside world. Mm. Not a little fond of his drink. Yes, I know. Drinking's part of the city culture. I'm just glad Rob's an accountant and doesn't have to entertain clients. No one would believe me how exacting he can be. I think it's my fault. Your fault? What? He says I do things that provoke him. He said if I ever think of leaving him, he'll find me. And do what exactly? Kill me. You don't know what it's like, he means it. Christ, Emily! Anyway, if I left, what would I do exactly? Get a bloody great big divorce settlement. No. He said if I ever think of leaving, he'll hide everything in the offshore accounts and I'll get nothing. Leah's life would be ruined too. I might find Leah would be better off. I don't think so. Anyway, part of the reason I stay is because I want a nice life for Leah. Holidays, private school. It's a loving, sober dad would be better. I want things for her that I never had. Oh, it would be terrible to upset her education at a time like this with a divorce. But money from the divorce would pay for things like that. <laughs> Giles can be very charming, you know. It's not all bad. OK. I give up. Anyway, if I didn't get much money from the divorce, what would I do? Me train as a nurse. I said Giles insisted on marrying you just before your finals. Anyway, Leah, she, she's of an age. She must hear what goes on now. It's, um... It's mostly done all very quietly. Yeah. Um, he starts a shirt in my mouth before he hits me in the, especially in the stomach where it doesn't show. Oh my god, Em! You've never said that before. I thought it was just his fondness for alcohol and his snipey comments. I, doesn't Leah hear those? Yeah, I put her to bed before he gets in so she doesn't have to listen to it. Shit! Oh, it's not a great life from that point of view, Em. Can't you see? It's okay. He made a promise he's kept for seven years. I'll never argue in front of Leah and I'll never hit her. I told you, there's good times too, you know. What made him make that promise? Um, uh, just something he, he did that he had to make up for. Uh, uh, a serious thing. Uh, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, how's Daniel doing at school? 